boys and girls! Welcome back to the Parsha Studio. In Parsha's Fa'era, when Paro did not want to let the Jewish people leave Egypt, Hashem finally sent ten plagues. The seventh plague was the Makkah of Barad, hail. These were pieces of ice mixed with fire. Today we are going to do a cool science experiment where we will create foaming Barad. Here are the supplies that we will need. A plate, a silicone ice cube tray, or a silicone mold in a circular shape, a cup of water, a cup of vinegar, a quarter cup and a teaspoon measuring spoons, dish soap, red and blue food coloring, baking soda, and lastly a container large enough to contain all of the ingredients that we will be putting inside of it. Let's begin. Take your plate and measure a quarter of a cup of baking soda, one teaspoon of water and a squirt of red food coloring. If you're using liquid food coloring or watercolor paint, add one teaspoon of that instead of the teaspoon of water. If you want to create a lot of hail pieces, you can double or triple the recipe, as we are doing here in this video. The main reason Hashem sent the Makos, the plagues, was to show the Egyptians that Hashem is really the one who runs the world. But in addition to this, there's also a special lesson that every one of us can learn from each Maka, even today, thousands of years after the story happened. Next, mix the baking soda with the water and food coloring so the color distributes evenly throughout the mixture. Put the mixture into the silicone ice cube tray or mold, put it in the freezer and leave it there for at least 30 minutes until it is mostly frozen. So now what do we learn from the maka of Barad? Well, I'll tell you a secret. Every person is like a piece of Barad. It's possible for a person to feel cold and icy like a piece of hail without excitement for Torah and mitzvot. But the Barad, with a fire in its core, comes to tell us that no matter what, there is still a fire inside of us, connecting us to Hashem. Let's illustrate this idea. Imagine you argued with a sibling, leaving you in a grouchy mood. Then, the sibling asks about playing with one of your toys, but you are so upset you don't even want to answer. Later on, you still feel upset, when suddenly you hear a crash. Your brother has fallen down the stairs and hurt himself. Suddenly, your love for him comes rushing up and you run to make sure he's okay. Once the barad is frozen, take it out. Pour some of the vinegar into your container so it covers the bottom but is not too deep that it will cover the barad. Add a generous squeeze of dish soap and a small squirt of blue food coloring. Then give it a mix. Although your brother had bothered you earlier, your love for him was hidden at that point. You realize that your love for him is always there no matter what. After all, he's your brother. Add the frozen barad pieces into the blue mixture and watch your fiery, icy barad create a heap of foam. If the reaction is slowing down, you can add more vinegar. At times, we might feel that our excitement or fire for Torah and mitzvot begins to burn out. Doing mitzvot can start to feel mundane or boring, but guess what? It can take even just one moment to reignite the fire because the spark is always there. By choosing to add simcha and enthusiasm into our mitzvot, we can reignite that flame. For example, if we set out to clean our room with a sense of energy and put on exciting music, it becomes a more fun and doable task. Or if we daven by singing the words to pleasant tunes, it may become a much more enjoyable experience. Another example, when we help our mother by unloading the groceries, we can make it into a game, such as seeing how quickly we can put everything away. You can try to think of some other examples as you play with your borrowed foam. Thanks for joining us and we can't wait to see you next week.